Hey everyone, Dr. Andrew here from Babina Cairo Wellness Centre. Welcome to today's episode of the Cairo Couch. We're going to be talking about the baby bumbo seat. Is it a yes or is it a no? Well, the answer is actually contradictory and it has a wide difference of answers out there. I guess it depends whether you're looking at the company who sells the product or you speak to a motor passion specialist. But if you are familiar with a product, it's often used to prop your baby into a sitting position so that they can sit on their own. Now they're put in this seat where they haven't developed the head or the neck control or their back control before they've been able to do the sitting by themselves. If you look at it from a developmental perspective, we suggest that parents avoid this because it compromises the ability to de uh, develop their own core stability. And they can be forced in this position artificially without any benefits. In fact, in, in fact sorry, it can actually cause Problems. Now the problem is there's no room for this trunk control or pelvis stability and not allowing the muscles or the joint movements to occur in the pelvis. The legs are held in a higher angle than the pelvis and there's no natural weight bearing that are caused in this area because it's an unnatural position for an undeveloped spine. Now the manufacturing company says it stabilizes the pelvis into hip flexion, flexion placing them into a slight anterior pelvic tilt um, and it helps lumbar flexion. However, on analysis, it actually does the exact opposite. The baby's pelvis experiences posterior tilt, which forces a curved spine and forward head posture. And this incorrect postural alignment can lead to a rounded back, head tilt later in life. In other words, it's unnecessary and will inhibit their normal core muscle development. Now, this product is very similar to when we talked about jolly jumpers and how that would affect their development on walking, maybe changing their standing position prior to them being developmentally ready. Now with this product, we will affect the baby's muscular strength. So instead of putting your baby in this device, lay them on their back, place them on their belly, let them do some tummy time, let them get their head control, making their tracking skills can be good and they can develop their own things uh, correctly uh, uh, at their right time. It is so vital that they have tummy time in this particular instance. Now sitting is a huge milestone and they'll do it when they're ready. They'll be crawling and walking in no time. So every time you see them develop one of these um, uh, milestones, we'll call it, give them a few claps, pat them on the back, you know, give them a big cuddle and encourage them to develop uh, naturally. So it's a big no for the baby bumbo as far as I'm concerned. Enjoy each milestone. Don't push things with babies. Their development will suffer if you do. So my name is Dr. Andrew from Rabina Chiropractic Wellness Centre and we'll both see you next week. Bye for now.